hey everyone so today i'm gonna be giving you guys a 36 week update pregnancy update along with a couple other um updates um eliana is eating her breakfast right now she has pancakes and eggs and she's uh watching some cartoon they are teaching her about uh, fire extinguishers, fire, what do you do when a fire happens, stuff like that. So she's pretty tuned in. Um, but overall, this last week, which I believe today is Wednesday. Mama? Yes? You want to go with me? Yeah. It's for me. Okay. This whole week, um, I have not experienced Braxton Hicks yet this week and i have not experienced the thunder crotch lightning crotch this week either um haven't really been feeling any major changes in my body other than the fact that i think the baby dropped though because i feel this dull ache right at the top of my belly especially when i stand up for long periods of time or i'm walking for long periods of time I can um, feel the dull ache at the top of my stomach and it hurts really bad and I have to like lean forward and sometimes I massage it out like I rub it out and um, but I have been feeling a little bit more back pain so last night um, I went ahead and took a, a sunshine bath with some of friendly favorite sunshine tea bath tea and uh, I really took an another reason why I took a bath last night was because I don't know if any if all of you guys know I don't think so me and Eliana came down with a sinus cold uh, about three days ago so I've basically been nursing us back to health so like ever since the pumpkin patch we've been like down with a sinus cold and um but I'm, I'm kind of grateful for the sinus cold because it's getting rid of a lot of mucus um, so we've been just like expelling, 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 and I've used um, Friendly Favors Relieve Me. Guys, if you have not purchased any merchandise or products from Friendly Favors, I highly suggest that you do. You won't regret it. Um, her products are absolutely wonderful. Like I use Relieve Me from the very moment that I found Eliana having symptoms of the sinus um, cold. And literally, Eliana is like turning it around overnight. And Eliana has a pretty strong immune system because I give her elderberry and stuff like that. <clears throat> she drinks tea too, so she has a fairly strong immune system. But friendly favorites, guys, please purchase with her. Like her bath tea, the sunshine tea, is the bath tea that I used recently. And it literally, last night I used it and me and Eliana was not even 30 minutes out the tub. And Eliana was knocked out, like knocked out, like cold. And I never seen her fall asleep like that because usually at night it's really hard for her to go to sleep. She's always fidgeting around, moving around a lot. But when I used the sunshine tea last night, she literally like was like falling asleep. She was like, mommy, can I have your tablet? Falling asleep. I'm like, oh my God. So uh, she went to sleep really easy last night and I was really happy about that. Thank you Friendly Favors for all of the friendly favors because they definitely have been a friend to me and Eliana, especially throughout this sinus cold episode that we're having. Um, I felt better than what I uh, recently was. Like I had a really severe headache for the last two days, but now I don't have it anymore. I went away yesterday. I don't have it anymore um pretty much getting back to normal still got mucus but i made me a pot of like pure ginger eliana says it's spicy uh, yeah it is but i made it to the point where i could stand it and um i just drank the ginger just straight ginger and um i don't have lemon as of yet but i just you know drink the ginger um with every meal even even if i'm feeling a little congested or whatever and that's really helping my immune system boost back up and i kind of snuck a little bit of her elderberry don't tell nobody but yeah uh we've been doing good on that and so like i mix all of eliana's um medicines together they're all 100 percent natural and safe and i also mix some of the ginger tincture with 
um a juice so that it's not really like medicine for her because she really does not like taking medicine so i just make it into a concoction put it in her sippy cup and she drinks it all day and she's been drinking that for four days now so she's getting back um good so that's why i've really been doing for the last couple days um other than the pregnancy update you know i really just don't have any other symptoms that's happening i'm still on my yoga ball still doing that now i know one of the biggest things that you guys were um interested in was me packing my hospital bag now uh due to certain circumstances my transportation is very iffy right now and um it's really expensive like ubers here are really expensive like it'll charge me you know 50 dollars almost 60 dollars depending on where i'm going you know to and from so i have to like really make sure that um i'm saving money as wisely as possible and trying to get rise to where i'm going um but the store that i want to go get the rest of my baby registry at for my postpartum portion of the baby registry um it's it's like uh maybe it's, it's not that far it's like maybe a couple minutes away excuse me away from me but the only delay that i have with catching the uber too is the fact that eliana has this huge car seat and if i get an uber then i'm gonna have to carry her car seat all the way to the uber it's not like i have like where the uber could just pull up on me and we just get in the car it's not like that like i have to walk and with the car seat and with her and like 36 weeks pregnant like and it's harder now for me to lift things uh now it, it hurts me a lot to lift now so i want to try to stay away from lifting so uh hopefully um one of my friends that i met at church will give me a ride to finish my registry by the end of this week because at the end of this week on sunday i'll be 37 weeks your girl is getting out the way but um nevertheless the registry will get completed it's more so just like postpartum stuff that i really need and a couple more items for baby um avi that i'm gonna need immediately and i just wanted to take my time right now just to shout everybody out who have given to me um purchase off the registry sending me daily uh inspiring quotes whether it's from the bible or if it's you know just a post that they found or just encouraging words i want to thank you all um, god have ha have placed people in my life like the people who have constantly supported me through the baby registry and through the emails and text messages and stuff that i get on a daily basis god has provided me with those people to fit a little bit of comfort during my most vulnerable time my most intense part of my healing process and i really appreciate you guys i can't call everybody's name out individually some people like their names to be called out some people don't so uh if you could just take a moment and clap it up for everybody you know who you are i appreciate you uh you know who you are because i stay in constant communication with you if not i'm always like giving you some kind of update but other than that um i really wanted to talk a little bit about because i don't have a lot of like pregnancy updates or whatever i did want to talk about some of the things that i've been thinking about during this week um of being 36 going into my 37 week i am technically eight months now but aside from that some of the thoughts that i've been battling and just thinking about was like uh some of my actions in the past where i left eliana's father and then i went back multiple times and then the world watched me do that and like how am i healing from that you know like it's been a year now uh november mm -hmm. okay babe can you drink some of your juice november makes a year since i've been away from eliana's father and a lot of people have their own opinions and stuff like that but um the reason why i personally stay away from eliana's father is because he is emotionally manipulative manipulative in a bad way very bad way um i would like to classify him as a grade a psychopathic narcissist uh, very controlling he wants to keep me away from my family he doesn't want eliana to have relationships with no one other than him um a big big part of the reason why i stay away from him is because he tried to keep 
a barrier between me and Eliana's relationship and that is something that I'm gonna be talking about a little bit in this video um he tried to uh you know control the dynamic and the relationship that I had with Eliana he would be really jealous of how I would comfort her be there for her soothe her you know take care of her uh he always made well well in that moment you know that I was in in the past um and this is all for personal experience this is not to go back into the past and bash anyone this is just an update on my life and how i've been living so far and how i've actually progressed from not going backwards because a lot of people see my journey they watch me go back and forth from him multiple times but um to go back to my point um he always made other women which were we were in a polygamous setting you know, he would always make the other women change her diapers, feed her, take care of her. And that left me with little opportunity to be able to bond with her, do the things that I want with her. So Eliana developed this mean streak at a very early age. And that is something that I'm still working through. That is something that I'm still dismantling within her characteristic, her personality characteristics. Um, that's not something that I ever wanted my child to develop at an early age. That's not something I ever wanted to expose my child to. Nevertheless, because it happened, I'm eager to change the circumstances for Eliana so that she doesn't have to live her life in an angry way. I want to provide an environment and people that's going to be around her for her to grow up with that's going to nurture her ability to be soft and nice and caring and gentle, you know. And it's okay to have boundaries. I'm going to teach her it's okay to have boundaries, but just to be rude and mean. You know, I didn't want my child to be raised like that. And unfortunately, because the father wanted to raise her a certain way, it didn't match with mine. You know, it put a, that was like a, that was a, that was a, you know, a deal breaker for me. Because I don't believe that any child should be raised in a um, degrading way. I just think that that's just degrading. Like if you want to raise a child that is harsh, you want to raise a child that is angry. You want to raise a child that is hard to deal with. Like, I just don't believe that that's something that a child needs to go through. Nevertheless, experience. I think a child's experience should be graceful. You know, it should be pure. It should be well-intended. It should be, you know, they should be attended to, you know, by the parents. And the parents should love each other. Like, that's what I believe. And because that wasn't happening, I decided to break ties and keep my distance and i really don't care what anyone else's opinion of that is because no one was specifically in my situation at that day and time now for, for avi her father the reason why i'm not with her father is because uh i'm gonna just put this out here like i said from experience from going through my trials and errors my situation um may be similar to a lot of women out there that's why i continue to still choose to share my journey and my story but um i knew avi's dad for a couple months it wasn't anything substantial enough to lay down with him and have sex with him nevertheless that was the mistake that i made I, you know i laid down with him before getting to really really get into the nitty-gritty details of who he were who he was how he wanted to live his aspirations and goals what was he accomplishing at the time and um Four days after I basically dated him out of all of these months, um, I wound up getting pregnant. And uh, I didn't, I, I actually didn't find out until five weeks later because after the fourth day, I seen all of the red flags. I completely blocked him from my life. Like, I was like, I can't deal with you. I'm not dealing with you. I've been through enough toxicity. That is not what I'm, you know, implementing in anybody's life. Like, I'm not a toxic person. So I just went my separate way. Five weeks later, I uh, found out that I was pregnant and then I'll make a separate video on like my mental thought processes of like, what was I thinking when I got pregnant? You know, like what were some of the things that I was contemplating on doing? Like I'll make a separate video about that. But um, I haven't like really reconnected with Aviana's dad because number one, he's literally like a ghost. I necessarily can't find him. Um, in a sense and I really honestly don't want my child to grow up in a life with someone who doesn't care about them so I told the father that I was pregnant and he 
didn't ask about Avi. He didn't ask if, you know, like, if I was okay. He wasn't offering any type of, like, support. So I just, I'm just like, if you don't care enough, you know, to actually want me to have her or keep her or be concerned about what it is that I might need in a moment and stuff like that, it was really just, like, one-sided, cold shoulder. So I just decided to cut all ties with that, too, because I personally believe that, if you tell a person, you know, that you have something going on and they are a part of that process and they don't show no interest and they don't show no care and they don't show no type of concern and you keep attaching yourself to that person or keep that person in your life, that's literally just going to cause other traumatic experiences for the child, for you, for the other parent that necessarily shouldn't even be a thing like just to backtrack a little bit the reason why i made these decisions to stay away from the parents of my children the other half or the other side of you know the aspect of the parenting whatever with my children is because i have had my own personal journey with parenting as far as when it came to my parents a lot of you don't know but when i was 11 my mom and my dad got a divorce and that destroyed my entire life like my life was destroyed before that but just to know that because my parents weren't in a healthy relationship and they kept it they tried to keep it together for the sake of the kids it just damaged more of the foundation and the mental foundation of what the kids could have experienced as children so i have learned through my parents situation and through the situation with eliana's dad that it's easier to cut ties with things right when you see that it's not going to work out because if you continue trying to invest your energy invest your time invest your money invest every anything that you have you're going to find yourself miserable in some kind of way like some aspect of your life you're going to feel stressed out you're going to feel like uh and if you know if if only you would have never did this or did that then maybe you could find some peace and after everything that i've been through through my childhood and with eliana's dad i'm really in a space where i'm healing myself i'm in a space where you know i really don't have time to think about other people and their perceptions of who i am and what they want to do you know i would rather my children grow up in a much more stable environment knowing 100 percent sure that their parent loves them and i have contemplated you know when they get older to take the time to explain to them this is what happened this is why it happened mommy made mistakes daddy made mistakes i'm not really honestly i'm not even going to really talk about the mistakes that the dad made because that's not my place my place is to own up and be responsible for where i went wrong and i'm gonna let them know that but i'm also gonna let them know that when someone loves you they don't just throw you to the side they don't just throw you to the curb they don't just do you know what i'm saying especially if it's your mom or if it's your dad it doesn't matter who the person is and you have to have boundaries and that's when i'm going to start to implement and teach them some of the things that i learned as time goes on as appropriate as it is for the for the ages and the time frames that they ask these questions to teach them some of the things that i learned on my journey i know a lot of people have their own thoughts and interpretations about you know certain decisions and everything like that but this is what works for me um i know my life a lot more than anybody out there does like i'm living it but at the end of the day, I have a peace that's over me that's like exceeds all. Like it just exceeds anything that I've ever experienced in the past. Everything that have has ever hurt me, anything that has ever damaged any part of me, like I just that peace just exceeds it all. And I'm willing to attach myself to that rather than to situations that deplete me, depress me, make me feel sad, depressed, and all this stuff. I don't got time for it. So where I'm at in my pregnancy at 36 weeks with the father and Eliana's father and all of this stuff, I'm pretty much content and, you know, um, have embraced the fact that I am a single mother. Um, it is difficult. There are obstacles that I face that I probably wouldn't have, you know, if the father was actually present and meaning well to the child. But at the end of the day, I would rather go through so much pain and heartache for my kids and make sure that they have the best rather than giving them something less. Huh? Go get it, babe, and come over here.
please. So sometimes Eliana has a really bad attitude and I'm like, I'd be like, oh my God, you know, but that's something that I can work out. So when she's in her moods and you're, excuse me, and you're seeing me being nice to her and being gentle with her, that's just because I want to de-escalate the situation and revert her responses and show her that there is another way to respond to life you know if i come back or you can't be mean to mommy like that come on get up here you can't be mean to mommy like that So yeah, if I'm, you know, responding to her with the same type of energy that she's giving me, it's just going to perpetuate the same cycle. So that's why I choose to be gentle. That's why I choose to be calm. Now, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I have to get a little bit my on my mode or daddy mode so that I can be able to get my point across. Like there are tactics that I use to discipline her, but I do not hit her. I don't hit her because that was the type of environment that she was raised in. Now there are times, there are a few times when I have to give her a little tap because you know, like I really have to make my point, but it's rarely ever because outside of the behavioral, you know, issue that I, with her attitude, um, she fairly listens very well. She understands what I'm saying. Um, she gets over things really quick. Like she doesn't linger on things too long. She doesn't cry for too long. She pretty much understand. And I take my time with her to teach her and talk to her like, this is why mommy is saying do this. This is why mommy wants you to do this. I don't just tell her to do it just because I said so. So she has a good understanding of why it's being done or why it's happening in the way that it is. Because I make sure that she knows rather than just being in the dark. And she's just like, well, mommy, you're weird because whatever. And so um, that's my way of unraveling some of the, you know, things that she has been brought up into. You know, like, yeah, I just want a different lifestyle for her and for avi go ahead and for avi i know it's gonna be a totally different situation so hopefully when avi gets here it'll show eliana a different aspect in life like oh wow and i and i think it is god's way of giving me another opportunity that i didn't have when eliana came into the world so yeah maybe avi will give her another you know outlook a better perspective on like wow mommy wants to do this and mommy wants to do that and it'll like calm her down and you know stuff like that but for today you want to go watch it go ahead. but so for today we're just chilling and i just wanted to give you guys that update so that you guys could be in a loop with some of the content that that is being created um soon uh so by the end of this week i will be 37 weeks and i will be getting the rest of my registry postpartum registry and baby registry so that i can be all set and ready to go and i will soon be coming out with a video on packing my hospital bag i know it's really intense and it's almost that time but i feel like i have some time you never know but i'm still prepared either way even if i don't go to the store i'm still prepared but um thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for always supporting and until next time